Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Chuck. A few years ago, I made a, a video about uh, how to tie down lumber on your truck. And it was just, I was using my camera, my phone, and um, it was not very good coverage. So I'm going to try and make it a little better this time. Um, I have some old lumber here, 2 by 4s But this knot that I'm going to show you is, is uh, pretty much same knot you would use whether you're tying down lumber or a kayak or um, pipe any anything that you're going to put in your truck okay let's get going i have a 20 foot length of rope here i just tied a square knot to my my uh, fastener over here i'm going to go over the top of my wood come under and go back over just like that all right then I'm gonna come over to my other hook my other fastener on my rear of my bed here and I'm gonna run run the rope through so you have this loose end we'll just tighten this down here pull it snug come around this little loop here now this end here, this loose end, you're just going to leave that for a minute. You're going to take this piece that comes across the top, you're going to put a loop in it, just like that. And then you're going to twist it three times. One, two, three. Now this loose end that runs over to this hook here, you're going to run up through the middle. Sometimes I like to do it twice, through the middle again. All right, right there. Now you're gonna take that loose end, run it through there. And you've got yourself a hitch. Then you just tie a little loop. You take your loose end run it around the bottom, up through the little hole right there, pull it snug, pull it snug again. Now the nice thing about that is once you unloosen this one right here, all you have to do, once you get it out of that, that loop there, is you just take this and you pull it out. Come on. And it's loose. So I'll do it again, give myself a little bit more room here. Run it around the little latch up here. And you're done. Now, if you had some additional things like some some pipe, I'll grab some pipe. Here's a couple of sticks of one inch PVC electrical conduit. Once you come across here, we'll pull this rope out of here. Get it all up here. Once you make your first loop, come across and your, your lumber is secured, you're going to do the same thing with the pipe. You don't want to add your pipe into this first wrap around. You just push that over into there. Now you can run your rope through your little latch your hook. Now you have a Now both of them are latched down.
last video some guy made a comment he said if you uh if you put the rope over the top it'll secure it even even better and i i thought about it i tried it and uh yeah he's he's correct let's say you came underneath underneath the wood over the top and then you came down underneath and back up that would be better then you could do the same thing go through your latch your hook your tie down make your loops Stuff that one up through. Run your hose up, or the hose, your rope up through there. Pull it down. That's a good knot. I like that. I'll show you what that looks like. Grab the camera. Whoops, sorry. You can see it comes from this tie down over here. Comes underneath, up, down under this rope, and then back up. And then back into this knot. I hope that makes it a little bit more clear. Have a good day. Hey guys. I had another thought here on these things you tie down on your truck. I had another thought about how to tie down lumber on your truck, but what if you have something really long, like this uh, pool pole? You know, it's not gonna fit in the back of this. It's 12 feet long, 14 feet long, 16 feet long. Well, on my truck, I don't know about yours, but on my truck, I have these little things on the side and you could slip a two by four down in there. Pick up your pole. Put it up there on that, on the mirror. You'd need a towel or something because it's gonna hit. Then you just kinda Bend it around on that side right there. Now you can tie that down. You really don't want to put something too heavy on this mirror because this mirror's just got some screws that go in there. I wouldn't put anything too heavy on there, but uh, a little bungee cord around here or even some duct tape wrapped around or some string and then come down here and tie it down. As long as you put something in between here so it's not rubbing, you would be fine. Just a suggestion. I've done that before for super long objects, but only if they're really light objects. 